In this video, I'll show you how to set up one-click accounting for Amazon when using Xero as your accounting system. Here are some things to consider before setting up this feature. You should have Amazon directly connected to Unify. If you are a new user and have not begun posting your daily Amazon sales to your accounting system, go ahead and proceed with this setup of one-click accounting for Amazon. If you're an existing user and you've already begun posting your daily sales to your accounting system and you're in the middle of your settlement period, keep your current settings and close out your current settlement period. Then, at the start of your next settlement period, you should proceed with the setup of one-click accounting for Amazon. Now let's proceed with the activation and setup of this feature. To activate this feature, click on the settings icon, which will take you to the settings screen and select Marketplace Fees in the Sync Expenses area. In the Marketplace Fees area, select No for using the same settings for all subchannels. Then activate the options of Posting Marketplace Fees and then Enable Sediment Posting. If you have multiple subchannels within your Amazon account, they will all be displayed, which means you can set up one-click accounting for each individual subchannel within your Seller Central account. This is great if you're selling on multiple marketplaces within your Amazon US or Amazon EU seller account. Since one-click accounting for Amazon posts the settlement report and all the orders and refunds and ensures there's a correlation of items in Amazon with the items in the accounting system, Unify displays those relevant data points again in this area. For existing users, you may have to readjust your core settings in the context of one-click accounting for Amazon in this area. It is very important to ensure that the SKUs or ASINs in Amazon match the item code for the corresponding item in Xero. If they don't match, they can be mapped within Unify before posting data to Xero. In the process of posting the settlement report to Xero, it will also post the corresponding orders contained within the settlement report. Single transaction type is unchangeable when using this feature and the type of transactions that can be utilized are in the type of transactions to record sales dropdown. The recording of shipping charges within the order is selected by default and the account that these charges are recorded to can be selected in the dropdown below. Gift wrap charges within the order is also selected by default and the account that these charges are recorded to can be selected in the dropdown below. Recording refunds as a credit note is selected by default to record refunds in Xero, as well as marking the credit note as paid after the settlement report is posted to Xero. If you're recording your sales transactions as invoice awaiting payment, you should check the box to mark those invoices as paid after the settlement report is deposited into Xero using the one-click accounting feature. Then you can choose to record the sales in your Amazon clearing account within Xero. Tax exclusive, meaning taxes collected separately from the item price, is selected by default and cannot be changed. The line item of sales tax should be connected to the sales tax account, which is a liability type within Xero. Setting the description for sales tax, you may want to set your own and you can keep it simple. I would suggest you type in taxes charged in online store or something to that effect. If you're setting this up for a distinct subchannel within your Amazon seller account, you can name it in reference to the channel so it can be definitively tracked within Xero if needed. Again, the account should be the sales tax account, which is a current liability type within Xero. This is just a reminder, when the settlement report is posted, all sales and refunds will be consolidated by date in Xero. If you're an existing user and you've already set up your expenses and fees, you should just review this area closely and make any necessary adjustments to how you're posting your expenses and fees. If you're a new user and you have never set up your expenses and fees, here's what to do. In the bill details, the supplier should be your Amazon vendor. Bill date and due date should be set to the settlement end date. And bills will be paid by default. Settlement end date is a great bookend 
because the settlement start date can have overlapping data, whereas the settlement end date will have the least amount of overlapping data and will correspond with the deposit Amazon disperses at the end of your settlement period. In the expense details, account can be designated expense account or Amazon clearing account or undeposited funds. It should correlate with the same way you account for your expenses in Xero. Description should be the amount description, which is the Amazon fee group description. In the refunds reimbursals, the sales account should be an income account, and the description should be the amount description. In the bill payment details, the account will be the Amazon clearing account, and the payment date should be the settlement end date. Click Save to retain your new settings or adjustments for the transactions, items, refunds, taxes, and settlement report handling with this feature. You will also see a final confirmation upon saving and clicking Yes to confirm your settings. If you're the type of user that posts your daily Amazon sales to Xero, either individually or consolidated by date, when you're ready to post the settlement report to Xero, the one-click accounting feature will detect the sales that are already posted, and then post the refunds and the settlement report to Xero, and everything will be accounted for within the settlement period. Thank you for watching.